Okay, so here are some pictures of when we first got it and what we're going to be fixing up. The inside of my studio, we got some crown molding done up today and we got some painting done. And we still have to work on the floors and the couch area. But we got a lot of good, cool stuff going on in here. And I just wanted to share the update with you. And then uh, pretty soon I'll have my studio and videos will be popping out left and right, you guys. Um, I'll give you more of a little detail. I'll send some, put some pictures up in this video so you can see the before, complete before we even started. Hi, you guys. So today we're going to do the final video on... Pimp Daddy Max Jet Hauler Toy Hauler Makeover. And let's go in and get the details. Okay, so here is the toy hauler that Pimp Daddy Mac has renovated. And everything we did in it, on it, we went with the least expensive way, but to still make it look super very nice. And he did an amazing job on it. So here we go, we got the door over here and we have a couple signs here. Money doesn't buy happiness, but it does buy everything else. So these signs came with the hauler and they're pretty cool. So we're gonna leave them, all right? Because it's all kind of something that we like. And so we have the bathroom. The bathroom had a big crack in the floor and we replaced and painted some of the, um, vent covers but there was a big hole in the floor and pimp daddy mac went ahead and repaired that and i believe he's gonna go ahead and do the whole bathroom nice white bright like that but we're in no hurry to do that part and then we got a new toilet paper roll holder and then here is our little storage closet that we have and of course it came equipped with a mirror so i'm happy about that i could do my hair and then so we store our toiletries up there. We got um, these little storage containers from Walmart to go ahead and store certain things in. Like we could put some clothes maybe up in here, whatever. Um, we're kind of light packers, so it's not going to be that big of a deal as far as clothes. We have a couple little spots up there where we can hang clothes. We could store little things on the um, side of it, which are tire covers, you know, anything that we might need to stick back over there. The table is in there. And then we have some food um, drawers to put our extra canned goods and other foods in. And the bottom is for like, you know, stuff we just don't want close to everything else. So we store it down there. And then we have the little kitchen area, which is nice. Um, I'm thinking we're probably gonna redo the kitchen area a darker color, maybe someday, or a different color. But I'm not sure about that, but it looks nice the way it is. And so below we have a little bit of uh, covered space where we put a little extra snacks and then cleaning stuff down below. Everything's fully functioning and working. We have all the lights. We replaced all the light bulbs in here and that's all the way down. And then we went and bought this little microwave. We went ahead and put it in this cupboard up here. It worked out to be the perfect size. So we're gonna put a little trim around that or just leave it that way. It works both ways, but it's very convenient. It fits the microwave up in there really well. We're just gonna have to make sure we get it up there so it doesn't fall out any time when we're moving. We got little storage racks up here. Cost efficient, nice, keeps things up off the counter and on the wall. And then we have our, of course, Major huge speaker over here so we could have some rocking out parties up in here. Very loud, nice uh, Harman Kardon um, wireless speaker. We have an air conditioner unit that we got strapped to the wall so it can't roll around. We don't want it to start playing Wally -E on us. And then we have the TV. Um, come on, I'm having a brain fade. The TV holder with the TV strap down there. So basically when we're moving, we're gonna store it down there so it's not swinging around. And then we'll put it up on the TV mount. 
There it is. I found the word. <clears throat> so what we did over here in this part, um, we got the wall border and the trim. We painted that the darker gray, the walls. We did a sponge lighter gray on the walls, crown molding, leaving it a little darker. We um, have this little storage rack up here, very cost efficient, and it works for it's really cool. So what happens is if we take all this bedding stuff down, we can push this rack up. It goes flat, pretty much flat against the wall and stays out of the way. So nobody's bumping their head or any of that kind of stuff. But while we're transporting, we could just put our bedding stuff up there. Um, really cool, stylish. It all kind of matches the inside of the hauler. Pim Daddy Mac also went over way over above and beyond and he did an amazing job on the valances. So this is done with a, a soft leather. We got gray and black soft leather that coated the whole valance on both sides. So this side also has the same matching um, valance. And then we painted the whole back wall uh, gray. And what's gonna be is this will go down and then we could use it as a porch and we could also use it to bring things in and out of the hauler. We got a couple really cool chairs that goes with the motif for really cheap. I think they were about 65 bucks for both of them. Fairly good condition and goes with our colors. And then also Pimp Daddy Mac put up uh, the bottom half of the walls, our carpet. It's a gray carpet. Came out very nice. We were gonna do it black, but since we already had the carpet, why spend the extra money? Because that's what we were doing was trying to save money in the process of making the jet hauler look amazing. Um, also, we have a 2500 ATV winch up here in the corner, which is remote. So you don't have to wind it and grind it all you got to do is push a button and the door goes down it's a little loud for a couple seconds but it's not like we're going to be hearing it all day all night so that was a brilliant idea because the spring that we had over here it busted and popped and those things cost about i don't know i think it was like a few hundred bucks even though this was a much better idea and then so we have this is the outside carpet for the ground when we have that down or we have a uh, put an awning on the outside, we're going to be using that for the ground. So that's just a piece of carpet that we had. It's black. It goes with our motif. <laughs> and then so in the ground molding up here, we put in some LED lights. Well, Pim Daddy Mac did most of the work in here. So when I say we, we're pretty much referring to him. And the lights are controlled by these little rocker switches. And we're gonna get a little trim and cover that, but the lights came out awesome. They're on both sides. We got this, this side has a rocker switch and they're also covered up there, but you get the gist of it. So when those are only on, it looks really nice in here. The ambiance is amazing. <clears throat> and then you'll have to pardon me because I have a cold. And <clears throat> um, so we had a lot of uh, not really difficulties, but we had a lot of different ideas when it came to the bed and the couch. This is a futon that we had purchased for, I think, 60 bucks. And the futon mattress came with it. So we decided not to use the futon mattress because it was like so big and it kept sliding off. And it's just one of those really fluffy ones that... Yes, it's comfortable, but it was really sloppy looking. Um, so we decided not to use that. So what we did was we took the original couch bed out. Well, we started using it and then we came up with a sliding method and then it goes flat up against the wall. So when it was flat like that, then it would go flat up against the wall, the whole thing when it's flat. And it still does that with this particular style that we went with. But, um, it wasn't quite as big as we wanted. We wanted a full size, not like a twin and a slice. So, um, 
we went with this uh, futon and so it actually it comes down into a bed we just slide it down and then it comes out into a bed and then once it's in the bed position it goes flat up against the wall and then we have all this extra space here to do whatever we would like with or we can pull it down and store things on it while we're moving because if you've ever known about transporting jets you want to make sure that they're in a pretty safe stable spot underneath uh pimp daddy mac bought some totes so we could store clothes towels bathroom accessories whatever we might need to put in there um of course we got our fire extinguisher our broom you know i gotta go for a ride sometime or another gotta grab my broom gotta grab my broom and then so uh on the bedding the covers that we used for um the padding we have a uh, a thin piece of plywood on the back piece and then we have memory foam in the middle of it so it's memory foam under there and then we have a strip right here and it's a camping pad that you put underneath your sleeping bags when you go camping it's a little bit more firm so that gives it the firmness, but it's still comfortable to lay on and you're still smushing in and being comfortable because of the memory foam. So once that slides out, this is what we're sleeping on. And the material that we used is a pretty durable material. It's uh, got a plastic lining on the back side of it. So if something spills, it's not seeping through. And so it actually turned out to be a really good material to use for the couch slash bed. And then we have our extra little piece of the bed back here. We store behind because we have that little extra space. And then so for the mini blinds, we went with these mini blinds where you could just pull them down and they're cordless. And I'll give you a little idea of how they work. I'll show you how they just easily come down. They come down like this, and then you just lift them to go back up into the spot you would like to have them. So they came out really good too. That was a good idea because then you don't have cords that you have to tie up and all this other stuff. And as you see, that's one of my favorite trees down there. I like to go sit down there and listen to music meditate have fun but then okay so we have uh i just thought i'd share that tree with you since it was already in my video now i won't have to go make a whole video about the tree okay you guys <laughs> just kidding so we went and bought this area rug so we could have a little bit of uh comfort on the feet when we get up from maybe sleeping and we have no socks on or something like that and um, it looks really nice. It goes with the motif. It matches the colors. We were trying to stay with the light gray, dark gray, black, um, red, and yellow. So it all looks really nice. Uh, then on the kitchen floor, it was, I have in the pictures that I showed before this video, it was just like the regular laminate flooring. And the flooring was had holes in it, it was tore up, it looked pretty bad. So Pim Daddy Mac went and bought this uh, stick tile. Very good choice, I must say. It goes with everything. So we got some grays in there also, and it matches the kitchen area. Good choice. And then, okay, so then the back half, what we did is, so it's not tile all the way, and it's not just this cover rug. We have a diamond plate, plastic rubber matting all the way from the back to the kitchen tile which i'll come over here and it goes it covers the whole back half so that way it's easy to clean easy to maintain it's pretty durable and it looks really nice and we're both big fans of the diamond plates and then we have a couple of the tie down areas a couple vents down there and it just really, really came out r fantastic, you guys. Like, Pimp Daddy Mac did such a good job on this in such a short time and very little amount of money. So, 
Um, I'm excited. We get to go use it this week. We're going to go out and we're going to try it out. And then every once in a while, I'll be able to sneak in here, make my videos and call it my studio, which <clears throat> my studio so I can make lots of videos for everyone to come and watch and see. I have a lot of interesting stuff coming up. So I'll try to see if I can maybe just go around and get a good view of the whole jet hauler that Pimp Daddy Mac did such an amazing job on. And then there's the door. And then, so it is really nice. Um, the bathroom area is a little small, but I've actually seen smaller. Um, we put a little rack up here. Ooh, we put a little rack up here so we could store the shampoo and stuff. When we're not moving, we could just put our stuff up here. We have a couple clips so we can hang our little squishy balls that we, you know, body scrubbers up there. Um, definitely need a vent in there. So when it gets hot and steamy or someone, uh, rips it, they need to air it out. So, uh, it's a little small, but it works. I'm so excited to go on our little trips and have some fun, but I just want to say Pimp Daddy Mac did an amazing job on this makeover of, and the, keeping the expense down to the lowest was amazing. So thank you guys for watching Pimp Daddy Mac's Jet Hauler Makeover. You guys have an amazing day. I love you and God bless you. One more thing, you guys, like, share, subscribe. And now that the studio is done, guess what? A lot more videos will be coming. So make sure you come back, okay, you guys? I love you. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Oh, and also, if we're lucky, we'll start doing a lot more videos with Pimp Daddy Mac in them. And then we can really get down to business because he does all kinds of cool stuff. So maybe I could twist his arm and we'll have a lot more videos coming other than just mine. Have a blessed day. I love you.